Hello, College of Education, Humanities, and Behavioral Sciences. Hope that this message finds you well. As I indicated to you earlier during the year that we were moving to an e-signing process. We're moving to this e-signing process for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's going to allow us to sign things much faster. There's a number of things that come through the dean's office that need my signature, and I want to do my best to be able to get that to you as expeditiously as possible. Now, to be able to do that, I cannot physically wet sign everything. There may be some things that require my wet signature and those things we will process. But from everything else, we do have electronic processes. By now, um, the admin assistants in your areas, um, in the various departments should have received an email stating that they have access to Adobe Sign. And we also have access to LaserFish. So I want to describe to you, um, you really quickly in this video our process for getting e-sign or getting e-signatures and getting things back and processed to you in a very um, timely manner. Now, a couple of things this e-process is going to do is going to allow us, again, to process things quickly and also cut down on our paper so that we won't have as much paper going around the office and you can have a copy on demand when things are um, completed or done. All right, so let me show you real quick. Okay, if you take or pay attention here to the screen here, this is our e our process. So the e process across the top. We have Adobe Sign, and then we have LaserFish. So you see on one side it's Adobe Sign and LaserFish. So the question is asked: How do I know which one do I use? Okay, simple as this. LaserFish is required for all the official documents of the university. Okay, now um, this means requisitions. I've, I've been signing a lot of requisitions through Adobe Sign, but they should be going through LaserFish. Now, it's my understanding if you do not find the records, if you need a form that's a university form that we do not have in LaserFish, please let me know. I can get that to the guy who is the administrator of LaserFish, and he said that they can create it in LaserFish. So that will be going for requisitions or anything else like that. You already know the process for using LaserFish. So that's requisitions and any other Alabama A&M university official um, documents should go through LaserFish and then you can get your copies. You'll be able to add up um, the different um, pieces of evidence or support that you need to anything we need to send there. Now on the other side of this, we have Adobe Sign. When do I use Adobe Sign? Now one of the reasons that Adobe Sign has been limited, it's a great piece. We could literally do everything in there, but it is very, very expensive. In fact, I think it's almost up to about $1.35 or, or so every time we send one. So we want to be very good stewards of our resources. We do not have unlimited resources, unfortunately. So we have to be um, limit what we can do as um, far as that. All right, so with Adobe Sign, this should be for like letters and memos. Anything that would need my signature, that'd be a letter or a memo or my initials, we can do that. Also, any non-Alabama A&M paperwork. So it's say, for instance, if something comes from a company and I need to sign something or something that you're sending, something that we created, Anything that's custom, we can send that through Adobe Sign for my signature, and we will um, get that signed. So again, LaserFish is for anything that's university-wise, requisitions, any forms that we already have, everything goes through LaserFish, and the stuff that is custom or things that need my signature that, um, that we have to create as non-Alabama A&M um, paperwork, we need to send through Adobe Sign, and then I will sign my signature on those um, as they are, uh, they are warranted, okay? Um, because the Adobe sign process, like I said, is a little bit more expensive um, and we need to be careful of what we do. Now, also in the Adobe sign, if there are multiple things you need me to sign and you can put them all together in one Adobe sign packet, please do so. It's my understanding that we pay per packet. So what does that mean? That means that if you can put a couple of files in the thing when you send it, then um, I can sign all of those in that packet and it will only cost us one time, okay? All right, thank you. I thank you for the amazing work that you're doing in our college. Our college cannot go forward without your help, but this is another thing that we're doing or that we're working on to try to make things better, to make your work better and to make your work easier. Thank you for your time. Um, thank you for your incredible effort as you put forth each and every day and go Bulldogs.